after this truck carrying their hives crashed. The driver was not seriously hurt, but beekeepers are called in and saved as many bees and insects as they could. Well, we are three weeks away from Thanksgiving, but it's already snowing in parts of the lower 48. This is what it looks like, like in uh, Kalispell, Montana. Stephen, am I saying that right? You are indeed. All right, out outside <laughs> Glacier National Park. Several inches are already there on the ground. Another six to eight could fall by the end of the weekend. Keep it over there in the northwest and that's pretty typical for this time and of year in, in montana so but for us we're going to hold off and it's so nice it out there so nice. it does not get much better but i've heard uh -oh. some people are sort of complaining that it's a little too warm it for doesn't early November. feel like fall it doesn't in their it defense will. it doesn't tomorrow we're gonna make that hard turn again uh. so a little bit cooler and wet weather on the way i want to show you a nice picture sort of reminds me of summer goes along with yeah. the temperatures we're home with beach delaware a lot of folks are enjoying themselves i think people are even out there at the beach on the sand uh, taking a soaking in the sunshine while they can because we have wet weather on the way later tomorrow into tomorrow night show you temperatures around the area this hour it is pleasantly warm 68 degrees at Reagan National Airport three degrees warmer at Dulles coming in at 71 but where we have the clouds and the showers earlier today temperatures are a bit cooler especially off to the west of us Western Maryland you are in the middle 50s at this hour Stormwatch 7 satellite and radar the clouds are just beginning to overspread the Capitol Beltway lots of sunshine still for Southern Maryland so if you're watching us at Town. Uh, you're looking at a lot of sunshine right now, but it will fade as we move through the next hour or two. Head in a little bit closer, the Frederick, uh, Maryland area. Earlier we had a few passing showers, really did not amount to a lot, and now those showers have fizzled out. But if you do have plans for this afternoon, you'll want to keep an umbrella handy, even though you're probably not going to need it for a stray shower later on. Temperatures will make it into the upper 70s, and I would not be surprised. Some areas see highs just around 80 degrees. For this evening, cocktail hour, 60s, mostly cloudy, a few ice showers sunsets at five minutes after six nighttime lows tonight around 40 to 50 degrees with the milder temperatures closer to the capital beltway winds will be out of the north just around 8 to 12 now getting up tomorrow morning maybe you go into the farmers market temperatures on the cool side to start and then we warm things up a little bit but not a big warm-up for tomorrow with highs that will only be around 60 degrees here's our future cast as we move through the day tomorrow notice how the clouds increase and the showers arrive from the south and west tomorrow evening evening through tomorrow night. It's going to be wet around the area, so make sure that you do have an umbrella handy with you. 60 degrees, that's it for high tomorrow, and I'll take you out with a quick look at the 10-day outlook. Daylight saving time comes to an end early Sunday morning. Showers on Monday and Tuesday, and a big cool down as you move into the middle of next week. Highs will be in the middle 50s, lows in the 40s. Adriana? All right, thanks, Steve. Well, happening tonight, a special edition of 2020 focusing on ISIS and how they target the vulnerable online to join their cause. And these stories are absolutely mind-blowing. This follows that deadly attack in Manhattan on Halloween. So here with a preview of what we can expect tonight is ABC's Brian Ross. And Brian, these stories are coming from teenagers who have good homes, both parents in the home, and parents are a bit oblivious until the last minute. That's right, Adriana. They are really chilling stories. Diane Sawyer and her team spent more than a year doing something that I've never seen before and I've done a lot on ISIS, and that is getting into the heads of these young people, young Americans, who come from oftentimes Christian homes, Baptist homes, who are seduced by very clever uh, ISIS followers over in Syria who know how to use the promise of romance or adventure to get in the heads of uh, young people who are having their own personal problems as they face adolescence. How is it that uh, the parents in these situations aren't aware of what's going on, or how is it such a secret? It's amazing, uh, you know, the one uh, focus, as uh, Diane's stories tonight, involves a former Marine captain in the bedroom right next to uh, his, his teenage son was in there, communicating with ISIS in Syria, signing up to be one of their soldiers. He had no idea. It's heartbreaking, the interview that is in this report by Diane, how he dreamed his son might follow in his footsteps and join in the military. As he came to realize when his son ordered a silencer for a gun and showed up in the mailbox, that his son was something else, he ended up calling the police on his own son. I want to ask you, Brian, what would you want parents to take away from Diane's report tonight? 
Well, I think it's the fact that in their room by themselves, uh, if they're troubled or if there's something they're up to, you've got to really pay close attention. Uh, the Marine captain says just really keep an eye on your kids because, you know, that computer opens the world to them for good and for bad. All right, Brian Ross, thank you so much for your time. ABC's 2020 is here on ABC7. It starts at 10 o'clock tonight. It's a really fascinating story. You don't want to miss that. Well, stick with us. We have got much more ahead on ABC7 News at noon. But first, here's a check of what's coming up tonight at 5 o'clock. Good afternoon, everyone. Coming up tonight at 5, this woman is the oldest flight attendant in the world, and she lives right here in our area. She welcomed ABC7 aboard her flight and then took us back in history. We used to pass out cigarettes and matches. When it started, I think it was $12 one way. After 60 years of service, the celebration's honoring her soaring career. That's tonight on ABC7 News at 5. It's big, really big. Regency Furniture's massive Super Saturday. When Re